I'm Locke Wilford. Come to Dublin Chevrolet and find your bonus tag today. Come to Dublin Chevrolet and get your bonus tag discount. Savings up to $10,000 on new Silverados. New Impalas and Malibus with savings up to $6,000. Find your tag, find your deal at Dublin Chevrolet, the only dealer you will ever need. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you out to West Lawrence High School again. We're here with the man that most everybody knows in the community. Oh, yeah, yeah, Mr. Thank Dukes, you. the Appreciate Raider it. Brigade. And yeah. you guys have so much energy and so much pride and, and so much talent. Hey, Amen. We are so blessed, as I keep saying all these years. Great kids. And they have such full excitement already. We've had a long week so far. It's been very hot. Yeah. But what's wonderful, the kids are overcoming the heat. If they start to hurt, feel bad, they'll sit down, hydrate, they come right back out and ready to do it again. Yeah. So that's what takes the pride to get to where we want to get. We've set the bar. Now we're going to take it up to the next level. And the leadership this year, wow, what great kids. We had great leadership last year, and these kids learned from them. Sure. And they are stepping up and then trying to make sure they're taking the right direction for our program. Uh, and it is exciting. I, I got out here just a little bit ago and, and you saw some of the footage uh, from where you had a little competition going on. Tell us about that and how you bring energy to them and excitement and uh, a discipline. Right. That's right. Uh, the, the marching fundamentals are taught. We have various styles of body conditioning, the way we listen. Uh, I like the competitive part of it. We call it a drill down. Yeah. They have to learn to listen and execute once the command is given. And this is a life skill, actually. We, we bring it into the band so that we can teach them how their posture and horn carriage equipment, and then we it, it goes into uh, the drill that we do for our halftime shows. Mm -hmm. But I put it competitively because they have to stay focused. And when I put this competition together amongst each other, they start to sharpen their skills, and then they, when they execute, they have to execute correctly according to the commands giving. Mm -hmm. Well, that's going to make them a better child in the future because yeah. when they get into the job skill, mm -hmm. they got to listen to their boss, do this, this, and this, and you do mm -hmm. it, you're successful. Right. We're teaching not only the band, we're teaching life. Right. But it's also going to come and reflect on our show ideas, the way I want the drill to happen, the way I want the kids to look on the field. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, the kids start having excitement. They cheer on each other. They know who has been struggling. And all of a sudden, they're getting better. Yes. They love on each other. And all of a sudden, everybody's a family in the Raider Brigade. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love. Uh, isn't it exciting? And it's it's good to see them through the years, Michael. You see, a like you say, a young person. And they may not uh, ha quite have it yet. Right. And then before you know it, they're clicking. And they're doing things right. And, and then even those that come along and they're playing a solo or oh, a special one. Absolutely. That's just exciting to oh, me. It is. And the confidence that it builds in that young person. Correct. And what I love, it's like you have a, a rookie marcher and a rookie musician in a high school level. You know, this is our varsity band is the way I look at it. Yeah. We've been training all these years to get the kids to the high school. Now it's our time to take them to the next level. Hopefully to send them to college and continue with the music. But what's so cool that I love about our kids, even though we have a freshman or rookie struggling, they find ways to encourage the kids. They don't beat them down. So many programs are wrong. They, they take the wrong concept. They yell at them, they scream, and, and they beat them down, and yeah. our kids don't do that. Man, they'll find a way. I had a kid today was struggling, and one of my officers stepped over and said, can I take this child to the side and work with them? Absolutely. All of a sudden, that child made the top 10 a while ago. Wow. Just because one of our officers, leaders, mm -hmm. took the special time to work one-on-one, -on -one, well, that's life. Yeah. That's what we should do in life. Right. CEOs, bosses, unfortunately, a lot of them yell at their employees, yeah. make them feel like dirt. Yeah. No, we build them up and they'll be better for you. No and doubt. that's what we want to have. Michael, I've always said you got to earn the right to, to get on to somebody. That's right. You got to exactly. earn that respect. They got to know you care. That's right. It's the old saying uh, they don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. That's it. You nailed yeah. it. And Amen. you preach it, man. You you we live do. it out here. We do. All right, now we got an interesting show, a different show a little bit this year, don't we? Yeah. Well, uh, the, the staff and the kids always ask me, you know, why are we playing this age level of music? <laughs> well, it's because I'm trying to play through the audience. Yeah. That's going to be in the, you know, 
let's think about it. We have parents, grandparents, of course, a lot of the student body. But uh, I like to pick the music that when we are on the field, we, we touch the heart, prick the heart so that they can say, I remember that song. Right. Or, honey, you remember we got our first dance on that song. Mm -hmm. you, you know, sure. just to bring memories. Oh, yeah. All right, so this year what I'm doing on the first show is I, I'm hitting the 78, 79, 80s, 81. Yeah. Okay? Because most of the parents whose kids are in the band, they were in high school during that time. Uh -huh. You know? And now we can say, I was at the prom when we played that song. Sure. And all of a sudden they start remembering and it's they're getting on the feet and enjoying. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna call it uh, true classics and, and number one hits and we're just gonna open up with taking it to the streets from the Doobie Brothers. Yeah. And uh, now this a lot of people don't really care for this style. I like disco. I grew up in the disco era. Yeah. I remember skating and dancing and all the movies. Right. We're gonna do a little disco inferno. Mm -hmm. And then I found a song called Pure Disco and it's got I'm your boogie man, oh, boogie Lord. shoes, that's the way, all the KC <laughs> stuff. Okay. And I've already had a lot of parents coming in going, man, I like those songs. Right. And then we're headed into little Gloria Stefan, one, two, three, come on, baby. You know, the, yeah, yeah. we're going to feature our percussion, a little jazz brass yeah. group. Uh, then we're going into Saturday Night's All Right, mm -hmm. uh, little Elton John. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to close this show with the Isn't She Lovely? Uh, Stevie Wonder. Yeah. That's going to be our first show that we're going to start putting together. Mm -hmm. uh, our book this year has 56 songs in it. So we have a lot of music from our pre 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 game stands, halftime shows. The kids have a lot of inf information material to learn, but they're ready to get going and we're going to we're going to pour it to them absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you do a great job, Michael. And yeah, you know, one it. thing that I I saw through the years, you know, my child was in the band Trevor, mm -hmm. graduated this past year and we began to relate some on certain songs. It was just humorous to him when he first started it, you know, songs whatever it may be that was from our era or you know, in our lifetime, and then right. he'd be exposed to it. So you have another avenue to share with him. You have another relationship there. Correct. And the song will come on the radio, or you'll hear it in a restaurant, or whatever the case may be, and, and then there's something else you share. That's so. exactly. Well, they need to learn the history of music. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not real keen on, well, not really unfortunate, but unfortunate kids, <clears throat> excuse me, have to listen to a lot of the style of music today. Yeah. And it bothers me because I was telling the kids the very first day, I said, you know, I want to play music for you guys, you know, but if you can find a song that doesn't talk about, you know, uh, sex, GD, MF, and all this, I said, I've got a pad on my desk. You write the title of the song, I'll write it for you, we'll play it. Yeah. My pad's been on there for three days. No song on it. No song. And that's sad. It scares me. So if we can mm -hmm. expose these kids to some of the earlier songs, sure, <clears throat> where the foundation of a lot of the music came, give them the history bam, they're going to start listening, hopefully, to that kind of music. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our audience may not believe that, but it's amazing. I hear the kids, when they're listening to their music on their phones and all, they're playing the music that we're playing because they enjoy it. Awesome. It's, it's really great. So we've got another learning aspect. Some of the beats of the music today, oh, it's so cool. But be careful, parents, with the words. Sure. Yeah, there you go. Okay, now we have someone new adding your staff this yeah, year. Yeah, Erica Clyde's with us this year. Yeah. Uh, she was uh, band director at Dublin Middle School, and uh, we had an opening. We had 26 people apply for the position, and uh, Mr. Franks and uh, Mr. Horn, my other staff member, and I, we got together and said she is the greatest fit. And she's come on board this week. She is on time. She is working hard. The kids are really liking her. Um, she has just got a great personality and very bright, and I think we're going to have a great fit. Uh, wonderful. We yeah. look forward to meeting her. We're going to take a short break and be right back. Stay tuned. Oconee Fall Line Technical College. Are you ready?
Okay, now everyone, we're meeting the drum majors out at West Lawrence High School for this year. And your name? Wynn Bracewell. And Wynn, tell us about your parents. Um, they're Michael and Jill Bracewell. Mm -hmm. And you have siblings? Um, yes, my sister Jordan. She yeah. used to play clarinet. Mm -hmm. And what instrument have you played through the years? Trumpet. And I did a little bit of flugelhorn last year. All right. So you're drum major this year. you got to be excited. Oh, I'm so excited. We have an awesome show this year, too. Yeah. Mr. Dukes was telling us about it. And you guys have been working really hard this week, right? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. What's been the most difficult part to you? Um, probably, um, it's, I would say just having to get our part learned because we're trying to help the band learn their part but then okay. you know we have to work on conducting and salutes and just trying to get that learned has been really difficult while we're trying to help the band learn theirs yeah so you really have a couple of responsibilities there <laughs> yes, you gotta sir. help yourself and help others well i'm sure you're up for the challenge what year of school is it for you 11th you're in the 11th grade going into the 11th this year yes sir what's your favorite subject um literature well, all right, all right. You have any future plans yet after you get out of school, or are you still? Um, I'm hoping to become a geriatric physical therapist. Wow, <laughs> set your sights high. That's good, man. <laughs> That's wonderful. So, what's been the most enjoyable part about this week so far? Um, well, I would say getting to interact with the different sections and seeing how, um, you know, different leaders do different things. Just because, you know. Usually we're in our own section and we don't really get to spend a whole lot of time outside, but now it's kind of like we don't have a section and so every section it, we can make ours. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, that's neat. That's wonderful. And hey, we're looking forward to the first show this year. I know you guys just work so very hard. <laughs> yes, sir. We're looking forward to it too. Yeah, best of luck till you win. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now we're speaking with all the drum majors. There's three different drum majors here at West Orange, right? Yes, sir. And your name? Michaela Brady. Hey, Michaela. Hey, it's good to have you here today. I know you guys are working hard out here, and you've been trying to stay hydrated, I oh, guess. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's very important, isn't it? Yes, sir. It's, it's very hard. It's really hot. <laughs> so tell us about your typical day. Now, this has been your camp this week? Yes, sir. Okay, tell us how it's been this week. Uh, we start off, we meet in the mornings in the band room, and then we check roll. We come outside. We get into our sectionals. Uh, that's when the section leaders have their jobs and uh, we just practice marching, uh, teaching, anything um, till about 10 and then we go inside to our sectionals mm. and we practice all of our show music. Wow. It's, it's a long an all day. day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you try to get out here early I guess when oh, it's yes. still a little bit cool and then at least you have a little AC while you're really working on the task of the music. And an exciting show this year, Mr. Dukes was telling us oh, earlier. Yes. So we're looking forward to that and I, I know it'll be a terrific year for you. What year are you in school? Eleven. All right, so we've got a couple of eleventh graders here. <laughs> yes, sir. How many years have you been involved with band? Since fifth grade. Oh, wow. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. So many young people are involved for so many years like that. I'm sure you have some that start later, but uh, what a practice and what a, a, a real talent that you've developed over the years. Now, what instrument was it that you first played? I started on trumpet and I ended up moving to French horn and then baritone. So, mm -hmm. currently baritone. Yeah. I mean, if you could play any song for us now, what would you play? What's one of your favorites to perform? <sighs> My favorite song, and it may just because I'm patriotic, but Star Spangled Banner, definitely. Wonderful. Ah, well, it's good to be patriotic. Oh, yes. Yeah, you got to have pride in your country. And I know you're proud of the Raider Brigade and all the work that goes into it. And here you are. You're going to be a drum major this year. Yes, sir. Got a lot to celebrate. We appreciate what you do. Now, tell us about your family. Um, My mother is Brandy Hobbs, and my father is Wesley Hobbs. We, uh, my father was baritone player as well in high school, wow. section leader. How oh, wonderful. Um, my mom ran, ran track. Um, my musical background is from my father, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we band at church. Uh, ah, what church you go to then? Blue Water. Okay, good. Good. We're proud of you. Thank you Keep very much. Keep up the good work and have a good year. You too. And we're working our way through the drum majors. This is the third drum major. And what's your name? Karis Davis. Karis Davis. Karis. Karis Davis. Okay, Karis, what are your parents' names? Uh, Nicola Davis and Henry Davis, Jr. Okay, and I know they're proud of you. Yeah, and I know you're proud of yourself and getting this accomplishment this year. Yes. What a wonderful thing. Lots of hard you, work. Yeah, you work very hard for this position. There's no doubt about it. Now, let's go back to when you first got involved with band. When okay. was that? Uh, that was in fifth grade. In fifth grade. And yes. what did you play at that time? What was I your first pl instrument? Pl I played the alto saxophone, but at the time, because I was so small, I couldn't really hold it correctly. <laughs> so it was difficult, but yeah. I got through it. 
yeah, yeah. And is that what you play through the years yes. all the way? Oh, wonderful. So, again, I'm going to ask you, what's one of your favorite songs to play, to mm. perform? I, don't, I, I really like jazzy things, but when we get to concert season and play the slow, like, melodic things, I kind of just tend to fall in love with those kinds of songs. I don't have a specific favorite. Yeah, you enjoy playing. Yes, sir. And performing. Wonderful. But how many people do we have in the band this year? Do you know? Uh, I think they said we would hit around 350 Wonderful. or something of this, something close to that. Yeah, yeah. What's the most challenging part of the camp this week for you? Um, making sure that all the work that needs to be done gets done because we have all the different sectionals. Everybody is all around the school and there's lots of back and forth. So you, making sure that everyone that is asked for assistance gets that assistance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a feat. That's yes. a challenge, yeah. All right, so we're looking forward to a wonderful year, I know, and, and you guys will be performing every Friday night. Mm -hmm. What's the most exciting part of that? Uh, you know, you played through, the, I guess, the last couple of years here, so tell us about that for I, you on Friday night. I think it would be the, the rush you get when it's time for the halftime show to start and everybody's trying to move on to the field and yeah. get in your spot and get yeah. that it's all the energy you get from mm -hmm. that part of the game, mm -hmm. it's, it's, I like that. You met a lot of friends through the band, haven't you? Yes. Yeah. All of my best friends are in band. Yeah, yeah. What's well, such a, as Mr. Dukes was saying, it's such a close-knit group and, and like an extended family for you. Yes. Yeah, that's good. What do you plan to do uh, with your future? Do you know yet? Well, what I think I want to do is when I get to college to take English courses and be um, an ESL teacher overseas, English as a second language mm -hmm. and teach middle school children English but if that but I think before I might do that in the military like go to school then sure. join the military sure. and then be a teacher in the military. Sure. Gosh you have good goals. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. And thanks for working so hard and having such a good work ethic and, and helping make the West Lawrence Raider, Raider Brigade what it should be and what it has been and continue to grow. Thank you. Yeah. Three drum majors ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. I'm Karen Atkins, the host of This Blood Ministry. I want to invite you to our new program Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. The ministry's mission is preach the gospel, heal the brokenhearted, preach deliverance, heal the sick, and save the lost through Jesus Christ throughout our community. We will have testimonies from people that the Lord has touched. So please tune in Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. And may God bless you and your family. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we caught up with the man himself, oh, yeah. Chris Dukes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, this is Mr. Dukes' son, of course, if you don't know. And uh, Christopher is at Georgia Southern now. You've been playing there for two, this is your second year. This will be my second year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, first year at Georgia Southern now. You're in the band. You you have a lot of challenges ahead of you there, not yeah. only with school, but with all the practicing you guys do. Yeah. Tell us about what your, your routine's like there. How many hours a day do you practice coming up to football season? Kind of what's going on with you now? Um. Well, as a group, the band practices uh, three days a week um, and that's usually two three hours or so um, but individually maybe an hour a day extra something like that just mm -hmm. trying to get my lips in shape for the yeah. long games yeah so. yeah people don't realize what goes into that Chris. <laughs> absolutely not yeah I mean you don't just get out there and play for that long you blow your lips out that's won't the you? truth you yeah. gotta you gotta condition your lips just like a condition when you run for football mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. whatever I mean Sure. It's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you went down your first year. I, I trust school went well. Your grades were well. good. It was good. It was yeah, good. Good, good. A lot of studying and uh, a different atmosphere all the way together, isn't it, Chris? It was totally yeah. different. Yeah, but you've adjusted well. Mm -hmm. And during the course of the year, you had uh, competitions in the band where you had an opportunity to challenge and maybe uh, be able to play specials. And lo and behold, the last game of the year, yeah. you, you achieved that goal. Did you tell us awesome. about that? Oh, man. Um, I can tell you one thing. It was a lot different than um, than the high school solos. Um, it was cool because I got to – the senior was supposed to play it, and uh, I guess he just kind of choked up. He got nervous, I guess, and they just told me to play it. And I was like, oh, okay. So um, went out there and played, and it, it's just crazy because out here it's just like, whoa, you know, on the front of the field. Right. So it was cool. It went well. Um, yeah. What did you play? What was it? George on my mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, pregame. So. 
as a freshman they called on you. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of talent you always have oh. through the years. That's what I've always <laughs> I heard. And, and I know you're modest on it, but you've worked hard. You've mm -hmm. practiced a lot. You had a good coach, I guess. I did. And, I did. and But you worked hard at it. You didn't just take things for granted. You played mm -hmm. hard. And, and you hit notes higher and, and greater than a lot of people oh. your age or that have as many years experiences as you do sure. Chris you know that oh, yeah. and we're very proud of you so what you got your sight set on for this year and um my goal is to make a first part last year I was playing second part trumpet which it was fun but you know first part's always a little step higher so sure. that's my main goal um you know maybe a higher chair as well in the band um yeah. just shoot shoot more solos and just things of that nature mm -hmm. just be stepped up more than I was last year, mainly is my goal. Yeah. Coming How up. many members in the band? It's about the same as the high school here, about 240-ish. Wow. So. Yeah. yeah. All right, so you met a lot of friends there, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, friends I probably have for life. Um, That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, the band is an outlet uh, for sure that you're going to meet people, and just like high school bands the same way. Sure. That, I mean, I'll be friends with them forever, I'm sure. So. Yeah. What are you studying? Uh, nursing is my, my major. Um, wonderful. Science, science, science. Lord yeah, mercy. <laughs> science, science, science. Yeah. Huh? yeah, I trust you're doing well. I know your uh, mom and dad are proud of you. The community is well, proud of you, you, Chris. Thank Keep you. Keep up the good work. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now here's Miss Erica Client. We're welcoming you to the area, welcoming thank you me. really into West Lawrence High School. Uh, so you're taking on an associate mm -hmm. uh, band director. Right. You're going to be working with, from what I understand, high school as well as a middle mm -hmm. school. Yeah. But will you be working at a middle school? or? I will. I'll teach. Um, all grades there yeah. and then maybe some of the beginning band in the elementary yeah. school even um but i'll be working mainly with the woodwinds mm -hmm. good good what instrument have you played through the years i've primarily played the oboe okay all so right so i work with double reeds yeah yeah so you have a lot of kids here to work with mm -hmm. now i know you've been in the area for a few years so you know a lot of people in the community right. and it's so good to have you here at west Thank Lawrence. You. mr duke's it's really bragging here. on you he, <laughs> he really is excited about what you bring to the table what you offer i'm excited to be here okay let's talk about your musical education first of all where'd you grow up i um am originally from pierce county georgia which is blackshear mm -hmm. it's about two hours away yeah and um i graduated there and went on to bruton parker to mm -hmm. study music education and then i um, transferred up to shorter university and graduated from there a few years ago all right and the, you were the first the first instrumental um, music education graduate. They had had their music program for a long time, but right when I came was when they were starting up the band part of the music mm -hmm. department. So wow. I was able to be the first one to graduate That's from there. That's wonderful, isn't it? What an yeah. accomplishment. <laughs> you got the t-shirt and everything, right? <laughs> I have a few. So, so let's talk about right here now, right here and now. Mm -hmm. oh, is it very challenging for you to come in here? What do you find the, the biggest challenge with young people? Um, with young people um, as far as teaching them? Yeah, as far as teaching them, you know, music and, and really what you're doing here, you know, trying Probably to Probably just that there's so much going on. There's so much with the band program and coming in, it's just, there's a lot of people and um, a lot of activity. So just getting acclimated to all of that, mm -hmm. um, it's just a lot at first, but yeah. it's great. We've had a great week so far at band camp and mm -hmm. I've enjoyed every single day. Awesome. How do you find the kids here? They are pleasant. They're, um, really a joy to teach. Um, I've been teaching a sectional every day with the flutes and the clarinets, and it's just been going really well, oh. and I'm real proud of them. They work yeah. hard. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Quite a few kids to work with here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so whenever you're dealing with kids, what, what do you try to relate to them, first of all? Uh, I guess they would already maybe have a love for music, mm -hmm. so what do, you, what do you do with that? How do you try to encourage them? Um, trying to to let them know that I care about them and I care about their musical development mm -hmm. and um, through that we can work together and make the music. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. I wish you much success here. Thank you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs>